Amanda Holly spent today with the folks at NASA. Yeah. She takes us behind the scenes with a look at the spacecraft that will take astronauts to the moon as early as next year. The Orion crew modules for Artemis 2, 3, and 4 missions are all here in the operations and checkout building at Kennedy Space Center. They are set to take humans deeper into space than anyone has ever been before. Built by Lockheed Martin, it is the only spacecraft in the world capable of bringing humans this deep into outer space. There are areas of the spacecraft specifically designed for the crew to take shelter should there be any uh, solar storms as we're flying. Uh, and then in addition to that, we have redundancy everywhere. Each consecutive Artemis mission will build on top of each other. Artemis 2 will focus on testing the capsule with a crew. They're the first ones that are going to go fly around the moon. Um, Artemis 3 eventually will land the first humans on the moon, and then Artemis 4 is going to interface with the gateway. There are those discoveries in overcoming this very hard environment that are going to fill us and our nature as discoverers and as adventurers. At 11 feet high, Orion is designed for a crew of four. Along with life support systems, avionics, a bathroom, and exercise equipment, the parachutes that slow the capsule down as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour are also integrated within the capsule. Upon re-entry, the heat shield on the bottom of the capsule will protect the crew inside from temperatures that reach up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Reporting from Kennedy Space Center, Amanda Holly, 8 on your side.